<clears throat> okay, so the brownies have baked and they smell absolutely wonderful. So. Here you go. Oh, 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 that's hot. So. Mmm. Mmm. Oops, almost dropped it there. Whoops. Oh, that's nice and hot on my face. Uh, so. Uh, the brownies took 35 minutes. Um, and I'm going to have a taste. So, first of all, let's have a wee look. I'll show you first, okay? Look at that. It, the, it's actually oh. like turned turn out perfect. These are the... I've actually had a couple of disasters in the kitchen recently. I made a video the other day there with my sister and I never posted it. And the video was us trying to, well, I was experimenting. And it, the video was us trying to make oven baked coconut shavings with um, chocolate powder on them. It was, yes, we were experimenting, but it was a complete flop. We burnt the chocolate that we, that we that we had like dipped them in when we were baking them in the oven, and we cut them way too thick, so they were like still like crunchy, but like not burnt crunchy, like coconut meaty crunchy. So it was a total flop, and the reason I I done that was because my friend got me. I'll show you. My friend for my Christmas got me a hamper that had this brand of lots of it was like a box about maybe about maybe about this big and it had like lots of vegan snacks in it. Like loads. There was like it was like there was like ten packs of like just multiple like different cool things. And it had these things in it and it was uh it was like what little shavings of coconut, but they were like chocolate flavoured. So I was like, they were amazing, but like I ate them and I ran out. I was like, I could totally make that. And I thought I could make it and I can make it. Just because I failed, it doesn't mean that I can't do it. Like that's one way that I know how to not try and do it next time. And I have even bought coconut so that I can try it again. So, I. As I said, I've had a few flops in the kitchen, but tonight has not been one of them. So, I'm going to take this out. And I'm gonna try it. So, here we are. It's quite, a, it's actually quite a thick brownie. Look. That's quite thick. So, but it's, it's definitely cooked all, all the way through. So, I actually cooked this brownie, not just with um, chocolate powder, but with an actual bar of chocolate, as you saw. So it's actually gonna have an actual proper chocolate flavor to it. Yes, it was dark chocolate, but to get rid of the bitterness from the dark chocolate, I've just put a wee bit of salt in it. Um, which will like make it more kind of deep and like a deeper flavor and like more kind of savory esque kind of chocolate flavor. Another way to get rid of the bitterness from chocolate is coffee. Actually, coffee, which is weird because you would think, wait, that's bitter, but no, coffee actually helps bring out the chocolate flavors and chocolate. So I'm gonna cut a wee bit of this. It's still going to be quite hot. Oh, it's definitely, definitely cooked all the way through. This is great. I want to cut a reasonable size. It's quite late at night, but I've not had anything sweet today. Or have I? No, I've not, I've not. So this is a chocolate hazelnut and 
cherry brownie. So here we go. Oh, yes. So I want to see if I can get some cherry. Uh, I'm going to get a knife. I mean a fork, actually. Oh, okay. Right. Here we go. Oh, there's some cherry. Right. Now, hopefully it's not too hot. But here we go. Oh, my. What the hot? Mmm. That's just melting. Mmm. Oh, mmm. Um. <laughs> this is absolutely brilliant. Mmm. This is maybe the best, best cake I've made. Oh, this is in competition with the 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 cherry pie, like. Oh man. No, that's definitely that's right. It's not as good as the cherry pie. Cause the cherry pie was absolutely amazing. But it's definitely tastier than the biscuits that I made the other day there. And they were really, really good. This is absolutely amazing. Mmm. Mmm. I need to have another piece. Bye.